Hello friends, as committed in my last video, here is the actual setting up of 6GR welder qualification test brought to you today. As stated in my last video, the 6GR welder qualification test is the highest and most difficult test for a welder. And that's why a 6GR welder is earning almost 50 to 75 percent more than the other welders. In United States, an average welder earns around 40,000 US dollars per year, and a 6GR qualified oil rig welder earns around 77,000 US dollars per year. This is approximately 5 lakhs Indian rupees per month. This is even better in European countries like Switzerland and Norway. So let us go with the procedure for setting up of SIGGR welding qualification test. Welcome to WeldTech QC, the YouTube channel of Lloyd's Institute of Technologies and I am Vincent. According to the USA National Standard AWS D1.1, there are two types of 6GR qualifications, rather two levels of 6GR welder qualification. One is the test with 4-inch pipe and the other one is a minimum of 6-inch pipe. If you get qualified with 4-inch pipe, you will get a qualification up to 4 inch dia only. Whereas the test with a minimum of nominal diameter 6 inch or more, you are qualified to weld 4 inch to unlimited diameter. So we will start with 4 inch dia pipes. First of all, uh, let us take the diameter of the ring which is to be tacked half an inch away from the joint the diameter need to be checked then uh, the width of the ring restriction ring also need to be checked and ensure that it is 150 millimeter minimum and uh, this should be away from the diameter of the pipe is uh, 4 inch, it is uh, around 115 and the length is also supposed to be a minimum of 150 millimeter. And uh, the thicknesses of both the pipe, the difference should be a minimum of 5 millimeter. And uh, one side obviously there will not be any bevel and the other side the bevel will be there. And this will be explained in a much better way uh, with the next uh, 6 inch dia. Okay, uh, the mark, the marking for the ring is being done. Uh, that should be 12 millimeter away from the joint, and the ring need to be fixed this way, and you can tack it for the uh, sec to secure it. Now let us see the uh, six in dia setup for six gr welder qualification. Okay, for six in dia. Again, the same things, you have to check the diameter, it is around 168 outside and the thickness need to be, uh, both the difference should be uh, 5 millimeter or more, uh, the, the wall thickness of the pipe and the length is supposed to be 150 or more. And uh, one side, uh, uh, the ring obviously, the flange, this, this should be 150 millimeter minimum, the restriction ring and uh, the pipe diameter also 168 so this also need to be 168 or a little more so that you can insert it easily and uh, uh, the th the length obviously is 150 millimeter and uh, uh, this bevel is 37.5 we'll have to check that bevel also the diameter also need to be ensured that it is according to the standard and uh, the next, uh, next in line 
uh, yeah, you have to ensure that the the beaver is 37.5 degree and the other side it is it is straight. There is no beaver because uh, yeah, and uh, you the the ring need to be fixed away from uh, the joint, 12 millimeter away. That is the maximum allowed uh, to fix the restriction ring. And you have to make a marking for that. And you have to insert it and just get it packed. It is just for securing it at that uh, location and not for the welding. Okay, uh, you can give uh, two or three tags and keep a uh, root opening of at least three millimeter, not three millimeter maximum. Three millimeter is the requirement as per the AWS D1.1, and you can give uh, uh, four tacks uh, to secure after aligning it. And uh, yeah, the ring always will be on the thicker pipe that is on top part of the pipe where uh, there will not be any beaver. Okay, that uh, need to be noted. Okay, and uh, after tacking, it is better to have uh, four tacks at uh, uh, equal uh, spacing, and the, uh, you are ensuring the gap is three millimeter. Uh, you have to turn it around, and you have to ensure that it is fixed at forty-five degrees. Okay and uh, gap after uh, positioning it at 45 degree uh, you see the the difference from the inside five millimeter difference can be seen and now you are ready for the welding uh, you can start uh, the sig gr test or you are ready you are uh, ready to start now you are going to be a sig gr qualified welder okay okay friends that's all for today i will be back with another video that's on uh, submerged dark welding at the earliest thanks for watching see you in the next goodbye